Fishing is weird. It's like some dudes like fish never figured out like how to avoid that. Yeah. <laughs> like they can't uh, one day if they're going to evolve to just figure out a different way to eat. They're going to have a metal detector in their lips. <laughs> we'll have to come up with new ways to. You ever seen those videos of like Chinese fishermen who put a net out and then they reel it in and it's like 30 tons of fish. It's like a Yeah, yeah, it's like half the ocean is in there. Pretty insane. And it's like overfishing is a problem. It's like, yeah, that's probably what's doing it. And I don't even like fish that much. Like people really eat fish like that. Like honestly, if we just didn't have fish, I would survive. Yeah, me too, but I like salmon and stuff like that. I like it, but some of these countries like depend on it. Bears like it. Like, They're pretty strong. If I eat it, it'll be more bear like. Yeah, they eat. Oh, and then I saw a video about how sharks, uh, like there's a book someone wrote that said sharks don't get cancer. And yeah. that is why shark fin soup exists. Because oh. they, if you eat the shark, you they think that you w- will get their powers. Turns out apparently it's not true. Not only does it not work, you'll still be Chinese after you eat it. <laughs> yeah. And sharks, it's not that they don't get cancer. It's that uh, they've never been, uh, one of them's never been tested for it so i mean i don't <laughs> yeah. know how many sharks really have the opportunity to get a full cancer screening in the first yeah. place remember to all the makos out there you gotta see your oncologist once a year just to make sure yes. you do a self breast exam i knew a shark with ovarian cysts once <laughs> she was, but uh yeah the uh shark fin soup i don't understand why they would even think that eating a cooked shark part would even give you any of those abilities. You gotta eat it raw. You gotta bite it when it's still swimming. You gotta eat the dick and balls right off a shark while it's alive. (laughs) That's also the Chinese people with the... Chinese people love, like, what's the most endangered animal? We have to eat them. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, But they do it with rhino horns because they think it'll make you have, like, the rhino hardness dick. Yeah. Like, that's not even the dick of the animal. It's a fucking horn made out of, like, fingernail material. They would definitely, like, eat the bald eagle beak because they're patriotic. Yeah, for sure. You got to watch them because they'll fucking scoop up. Like They're bl- blaming Haitians for eating aminals. I, I do think that the... Yeah, I don't know too much about that. Is that... That's got to be some truth to it, right? Or is it no, like a, the only like weird animal stuff I know Haitians do is animal sacrifices. Well, that's like goats yeah. and chickens and shit. And chickens. Wasn't that like Azalea Banks? She was like a rapper. Yeah. And uh, she like was admitting that... She sacrificed multiple chickens in her closet. Yeah. And she shows the closet and it's like a joke. There's like She's blood awesome. and feathers all over it. <laughs> She's the goat. <laughs> like she doesn't clean it up or that her big hit song, I think it's called three one three, that shit's fire. Yeah. 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 That, uh, uh, She's awesome. She also posted a picture of her fake tits on the internet once. That was pretty cool. Wow. She also beefs with every human alive. Like <laughs> It's very funny. Like you'll just log in and see somebody post like Azalea Banks criticizes Benjamin Netanyahu, and then like the next day she criticizes Stevo. Like it'll be the most random motherfuckers. Yeah, this is like this weird like total stoner conspiracy theory shit. But you ever seen like old like because I was thinking of female rappers like uh, Izzy Iggy not Iggy Azalea but Azalea Banks. Um, but like Nicki Minaj, like she would beef with Nicki Minaj and shit, right? I'm Definitely sure. did. Yeah, I don't remember specifically, but like, ra- like in this female rap world, it seems like there's a lot of like infighting because there's only so much room for there's gonna be like one or two. Which but- I don't know why. Yeah, they definitely can't. Well, like, doesn't have to be like that. Maybe it's because it all. I mean, not to be misogynistic, but in the the guys, it's not like. But they're all bitches. <laughs> no, it's like the subject matter. <laughs> Is kind of like, it's like, how many girls do we need talking about wet pussy, you know, and dick or whatever. And I just talked about the Hawk to a girl. We were on Discord earlier and I was like, um, it's just funny how that blows up so much. It's like, it's kind of funny, but if, if essentially it's like uh, an, a girl talking about sucking dick is like, and that's like the most popular thing in the world. It's like, She's if great. it wasn't for like the horniest loser guys ever, that wouldn't be popular. <laughs> Because it's not even that funny. Like I, when I, I s- cried and laughed for 30 minutes when I first heard it. 
I just don't like how that's... She's such an industry plant. I like, got my Bluetooth boom box and went outside and played it for my neighborhood. But um, Everybody, look at this girl. She's sucking dick. I'm talking about it. It's like it, with comedy too. It's like similar. Like yeah. I've never seen like a lot of female comedy specials, but it's like obligatory to cover those subject matters. To be fair though, male comedians, like every comedian's like, guys, so... Trans people, a hundred percent, yeah. <laughs> and then with the rappers too, it's not like True. they're fucking. They cover the same shit, like the guys. F- other people are scared to do it. I'm gonna do it. Trans people, I don't like them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the trans era comics, but like my what I saw a video with. Uh, it was comparing celebrities to their doppelgangers, but it's kind of weird. Like they had Nicki Minaj in there too, and Jay Z, and they had like guys who look exactly like them, but they were famous musicians, and they look they're like a spitting image. It might be fake, but um, if I Google Nicki Minaj, it's just two black people that don't even look alike, and you're like, <laughs> dude, oh my god, that's a clone. It was, I think, that the Nicki Minaj one. It was Chris Rock and Kai Sinat. <laughs> Nicki Minaj versus Doppelganger. Um, this might take a second. It's It'll be a black and white picture. Uh, that, that's the way you view it. <laughs> it was in full color, but it was <laughs> black Whoa. and white. Um, color. I can't find it. Uh, sorry. Oh, we were talking about bears earlier. I had a run-in with a bear. I don't know what was the cause of this, what I could have done to prevent it, but I fell victim here. I was driving in my car, and then I was going kind of slow. I had to make a turn, and I had to stop at a light, and as I was driving past this bus stop, this big, fat, tall, hairy, white guy proceeded to Girls Gone Wild flash me with his top. Like He just grabbed his shirt and lifted it up and showed me his hairy tits and then smiled big as hell. And I was just like, <laughs> I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to fire back. I don't know what the counterattack. Like, I don't want to do something and it's homophobic or whatever. I'm not sure how you're supposed to appropriately respond to that. Was he in a car? No, he was uh, standing. What a weirdo. Yeah, he just showed me his hairy tits and like was enjoying it. He was like, ha! <laughs> he was just like, yeah, look at this. He's like, you look, bitch. His first year flashing, like his voyeuristic. Yeah, like, before I move be- to dick and balls, I'm going to start with just my chest. Start with showing, uh, I like rolling up my sleeves in public <laughs> and that kind of gets me in the mood. Yeah. But you might have had one of those bumper stickers, like someone put a sticker on your car, like, yeah, show me your tits. Yeah, I got to check. It might be on there. I didn't, I didn't actually check. Bumper stickers can look so douchey. I've like never fucking. even considered putting one on my car. Yeah, like, dude. I I don't want to ruin like an Xbox controller by putting a sticker on it. I'm not putting one on my fucking car. Love a fu- uh, I love one I see that's like almost as common as like the breast cancer awareness is I love MILFs. <laughs> <laughs> like that one is like yeah, the yeah. top two most common. And it's com- probably like a 20 year old kid it's, in like a farting loud Honda Civic. You know what it usually is? It's usually a 40 year old single lady. Who's like lost it in life. I don't know. Like, I think there's also a lot of like beer belly white guys that have a beard to cover their lack of chin. Like those guys love that type of shit. Yeah. No, I mean, stickers, bumper stickers that could potentially get you pussy are awesome. Yeah. Uh, like, uh, go check out this. You see my stickers? <laughs> or Talking like, to a girl at a bar. You want to come outside and look at the stickers on the back of my car? I feel like there was another classic one that was old. It was like, I only fuck doggy style, but it was like something like that. Yeah. Like the classic one, guys, let me know in the comments <laughs> if you remember that doggy style fucking bumper sticker. Yeah. But top flashing as a man is interesting because is that considered like an an essay? Mm-mm. Not at all. But if, but if he's menacing while he's doing it, he like, I understand you can remove your shirt. But if he's removing his shirt at you, like he's like, ah! <laughs> and he lifts it up and looks at you and goes, ha ha ha. He, he gave me like a pirate smile and laugh. Like Ellen John once said. Was he alone? Yeah. Rock and solo, just showing chest. Yeah, that would be a strange encounter. I almost don't believe it. 
I almost don't believe that this could happen. It happened. Without some kind of closure to the story. Like I was driving, so I just kept driving and I never saw him again. <laughs> For all I know, he did that to every guy all day, but it, I only saw it happen to me, so it was scary. What if he thought you were like... His friend, the surgeon for his gastrointestinal <laughs> surgery, and he was like, "Should be like, up. Yeah, the scar's gone. Look at that. You can't <laughs> even tell. He stitched me up great. <laughs> or he's in front of a fucking GI surgeon's building. He's promoting it. Yeah, it might have just been a crazy hobo scenario. Because we're in here in America, we have fat hobos. Those are, are sometimes around. Or it's like the local." Famous, fat, it's like, oh, dude, that's the guy on um, Main Street who's always showing his belly. I love that guy. Yeah. He's been doing that for four. And then a vice dog. The guy on Main Street who's been showing his belly for 40 years. Yeah, the guy that licks the bottom of people's shoes is a thing. Oh, my yeah. God. I saw a girl apparently in like Paris or something or Amsterdam, two similar places probably. But they have a gum wall. It's a wall oh, full I've of used that. gum. And then this girl. Yep licks it from and then she starts chewing on one of the pieces oh! to, to be honest is is almost like she goes so over the top with it that it actually makes me realize how it's not it's almost it not even good. that gross yes it is how? <laughs> because it's like it's extremely gross but i want her to open her mouth really wide and take her top teeth and just grind off like a huge at a nitty jawbreaker <laughs> sized amount of it and get like 45 different people's gum in her mouth. Don't give me your, it's And that's gum with a G, YouTube algorithm. <laughs> the gum wall. <laughs> that probably exists. Have you ever seen those posts that are like, oh my God, my incel roommate jacks off or my, usually it's literally the guy's girlfriend or it's like, if it's real, the claim, it'll be like, I found out that my boyfriend has had a jacking off spot where he just sits at the computer and then just jerks off and just blows it all over underneath his desk. And then they find it and like mushrooms are growing and shit. Oh my God. It's like the most rancid smell. It like rots through the wall. I mean, how could that mushroom? <laughs> Can a mushroom grow? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I made that part up, but the rest of it is true. <laughs> Fucking, yeah. I got mushroom. There's a mush. I found a mushroom on the ground. Have you been coming in here? <laughs> there's also the that's the cum wall, but there's also the famous Reddit story, the cum box. Yeah, I remember the box. Yeah, yeah. you know, some people kind of save their money in a shoe box. <laughs> this guy did the same thing, but he, he would... misunderstood what a sperm bank was. <laughs> yeah, it was like, like a, a piggy foot bank. locker cardboard shoe box. No plastic liner. That had to stink after two days. <laughs> One day, maybe. It might be too disgusting to even explain. Honestly. So this guy was, uh, when he was finishing, he always captured it in this box. This cardboard footlocker box, as he described. And he would do this, like, every day for a year. <laughs> So by the end of a year, it's like a whole ecosystem. There's like a palm tree growing in it and shit. Yeah. It went from a cardboard box. It looked like, and then it was like a lacquered wooden box because like the box turned into maple wood. <laughs> it looked like wreckage from a pirate ship. Yeah. Like a, what do they call it? Petrified wood. Yeah. That's what a petri when you soaked in jizz yeah. for a year, it becomes petrified. <laughs> First I was afraid. <laughs> uh, yeah 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 that's crazy i don't know like it wouldn't that become like so gross that it ruins your jacking off experience very fast yeah i mean i mean people have weird like not weird but just bad hygiene we don't want to call that weird guys <laughs> we <laughs> not, we not weird but uh just bad hygiene i My bet not box <laughs> I can't believe like the scariest is like when it's an otherwise normal guy like, yeah. it's like you find out like a politician was doing some weird shit like that. But like when this guy assume you would look at him on the street and almost assume he did that. And he wrote about it in his own memoir for some reason. That's how like how these guys <laughs> ended up coming out about that. Yeah, it was like a thread on Reddit where they he was mentioning he's like they Ooh. were the guy with the cum box. Oh, okay. Oh, they're yeah. talking a politician. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> oh, no, the cum box guy. It started out, he was just replying to a guy on an irrelevant topic and I think mentioned that he had a... I myself have a cum box. And they were like, wait, what? All good men do. And he explains it and they're like, this is bullshit. I need pictures. He's like, all right. 
and he sends pictures, which in retrospect, I don't know how, if it was real or not. <laughs> I mean, it would be pretty easy to just do that. I mean, but like, he, it's almost, it blew People up. are disgusting. Here, let's see the come box with pictures right here. Uh, Exam- <laughs> There's five example images. This guy had arranged a whole photo shoot for his cardboard box. Oh, it does have mushrooms. Yeah. It's like out of mold. Um, where's the original picture? That might be the grossest uh, thing in the world. We can't show that. Yeah, we definitely can't show this. Yeah. Well, how did it burn? Oh, I think he explains he tried to set it on fire <laughs> <laughs> to get rid of it. But you slimed up, it wouldn't fucking... It was also yeah, a heat yeah. retardant. Uh, well, it sounds exactly what it sounds like. It's a shoebox where at least once was, and whatever I masturbate, I come into it. And I've had it for two or three years now, I think, so it has a fair amount of come in it. It smells atrocious, and I tried to burn it once. <laughs> when I lit it on fire, it was too damp due to the liquid <laughs> that it simply s- sizzled and didn't manage liquid. to actually light up, turns out. <laughs> uh, I had to spray it with a deodorant body spray just to get the old smell of burnt. Uh, oh, away. so it's like Axe mixed with all of the other flavors. It has some pretty drenched paper stuck to it. That's pretty much it. I often get PM'd about updates or current status of the box. Generally, I might as well update it. He has a picture of it. It's disgusting. Yeah, it's really bad. And I don't get it. And I don't get the scale. Like, is this a size 13 shoebox or is this like smaller than that? That's so gross. Yeah. Yeah. So this, sorry if you're eating. This changed the internet for a while it was it is a big thing in our american culture yeah as a cornerstone moment yeah it'll be like when vh1 does like vh1's the 80s and it's just like people like i remember back in the 80s i used to go to the nightclub and we would dance (laughs) but it'll be like yeah yeah i was around in 2010 on reddit and i remember the guy that had the cum box (laughs) yeah that is what almost was like associated with reddit for a long time when people be like yeah reddit like there's weird stuff like this it's like with a cum guy yeah like either the stuff with it's like they're great one thing reddit is our algorithm is so good on this show <laughs> one we thing... did come 48 times in the first 10 minutes oh Keep yeah going. i don't care that. that's just funny but uh yeah reddit is still good for some troubleshooting tips but that's about it but yeah. they've lost it for me. I really want to talk about um hopefully I didn't say this before, but uh I I remember this theory that I had or like something I want to propose, which is the idea of the people that criticize America and Americans and they're like, Oh, they're the lawn maintenance, they're so ridiculous. So they want to have a perfect, proper lawn, like it's so special. And they spend all this time and effort and use so much water doing it, and it's so wasteful and pointless and looks terrible. But if a Japanese person did that, if that was a thing in Japan, they'd be like, oh my God, the intricacy of the perfect attention to detail, the craftsmanship of the way they maintain the lawn. Yeah, Japanese have a dumb thing. I forget the word for it, but it's where you, to calm down, for to like help you calm down and focus, um, it's like a therapy that you're supposed to do something that is like something unachievable that would take you years to do, but it, it just, it, you know, you can't finish it. So it just helps you not think like, it, like an example would be having a second family, <laughs> getting scissors and going on your knees and cutting the blades of grass <laughs> and cutting each one to yeah. be even. And yeah, that's the intricacy of the Japanese mind that they're able to do that. But, but yeah. when we do it, we're just fat, dumb Americans that care too much about our land looking perfect. Yeah, always. Ameri- like, and literally, whenever one thing is on Reddit, like, it'll be like a guy throwing a package and breaking a window, like a FedEx driver fucks up, and they'll be like, wow, is this really how Americans uh, deliver packages? <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, like, anything that's a unique... It's on the internet for a reason. It's like a, subs- it's like a unique video. It's to be like- fair, though... <laughs> Everything I know about India is from watching them do disgusting stuff on the internet. <laughs> like that probably isn't every Indian. Or maybe yeah. it is. No, that is true. I'm not sure. Yeah. I mean, I definitely generalize with them. Um, but <laughs> the goop scoop. The super A <laughs> talking about the goop scoop. Like with the lawns and shit. Like I hear Europeans saying shit like 
Dude, Americans are crazy. They uh they freak out like they they have like pest control for uh I forget what it was. It was like uh, there was a mouse in the house. Oh no, they, some people had a natural yard or whatever and it was like you didn't uh cut it and you just I let the that. shit grow. I hate that. I, you don't ever be my neighbor. Yeah, and there were little people were saying like welcome to getting rats and shit and getting uh rodents and then people are like are Americans really that scared of life? It's like, so what? A little mouse runs across your house. It's like, it's life. Get over it. Yeah, nah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what? You want mice in your home? And That's because like, their fucking house was built 700 years ago. So there's a thousand holes in it from like, your literally your great 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 grandmother hung up a fucking thing on the wall that put a hole in it. <laughs> like now a mouse runs through that every day. Fucking and they got like stone houses too. Yeah, it's like well, not, that's pretty sick. It's way more like American houses. Like a big guy, if you put him in shoulder pads, can just bust through your house like the Kool Aid Man. <laughs> if he doesn't hit a beam, like he's just going through it. I saw this video of um, like because with the hurricane, there were these houses that are near the beach that are on like stilts. Yeah, and I saw one of them completely just fall. Like, oh my god, was somebody in it? No, and it was like apparently the story was it was getting foreclosed anyway. But people in the comments couldn't understand. They're like, "How could this happen? How could they have a home? Um, like the insurance would rather the house fall and they pay out the insurance instead of just paying to move the house or whatever." Like people don't know how much a home costs because it's literally imagine how much it costs to move your house. <laughs> It's like a million dollars <laughs> to move any house. It's like a, yeah. so it costs more to um to, to than the house is the, worth. I might the, be getting too mad the about the images <laughs> in the videos of people moving a house is the craziest shit. It's so surreal. It looks like it's from a cartoon. It'll be like a on a truck on the highway and yeah, taking like seven trucks like driving next to each other. <laughs> Your fucking house is just yeah, it's never and, and then, I always imagine a family is like in there having breakfast, like sitting at the table. And this is the classic, like in this Reddit discussion, like this is a classic, it's a 12 year old commenting um, where they're like, well, I guess that makes sense that it's not financially worth it. But for sentimental value, I guess some people would do it. It's like, no, who the fuck yeah. would spend $800,000 to move a $200,000 house. And then you have to pay for the spot you're moving it to. Yeah, and then you can't. In this case, you imagine you own a million-dollar plot of land that 20 years later is now the ocean. <laughs> it was a beachside property, yeah. and now it literally you just own the o part of the ocean. Do you keep it? <laughs> You probably keep it, but there's nothing you could do with it. Ever. I'm gonna get a little raft and sit there, like, don't fucking come here. You just stay off my, get the fuck off my property. It's been a, <laughs> rent it out for advertising. Yeah. Or just I won't let any fish in either. I'll keep them out. I'll just stay out there with a stick and poke anybody that tries to come in my little plot of land. Just constantly <laughs> pumping out the water <laughs> in your own plot of the ocean. <laughs> it just gets like one foot lower water in this one little area. Or you're just treating your water, only just dropping chlorine into your section. Yeah, that sucks. But um, you know, in Florida, I hear it's uh it's tough with homeowners insurance now because it seems like the insurance companies just seem like if you live in Florida, period, you live on a fucking uh oceanside property that's gonna get destroyed. It's Pretty like. Way. Because where I, it's like not even, it's far from the coast, but it's like I've never even been scared of a hurricane. It seems like you have to be really close to the water for that to be. It depends, yeah. You gotta be decently close, like a mile. Dude, North Carolina got completely fucked. I don't know if this is interesting, but there's like a mountain and there's a little town right on the side of the mountain. And the way that the rain fell, it wiped out this whole little town that no one gives a fuck about. <laughs> <laughs> like it's the act like it's a huge deal. It's like a population of three hundred and fifty people. Yeah, it's like a neighborhood here. They apparently it was like a tourist thing, but it's like I don't know. Fucking, it's you got to be uh, aware of uh, 
you know, those, yeah, they should have prepared. Better. They should have prepared that that hurricane should've was going to come. Should have put some rain right. boots on your house and shit. Yeah, North Carolina. That's like yeah. I wouldn't even assume. And like the, it's not even near the coast. It's like it went through past. Yeah. But they got really unlucky. It was like a Katrina situation, and I don't know how much about that, but it's not so much that the hurricane was devastating. It was that they that George w- Bush did not care about <laughs> black people. Yeah, it's that he didn't care about black people, and that they were like in the worst thing like the, their infrastructure was so not set up for any hurricane yeah preparation at all yeah you'll hear that like i don't know i don't have a good example but when things don't happen in a certain area and you don't expect it you can just be so ridiculously under like most city people if there was an event where we had to like survive without electricity and water and stuff people are so screwed and you don't even realize it yeah like the amount of shit you don't have access to or depends on electricity that you didn't even think about even like internet just not having internet sucks you're instantly in the stone ages <laughs> like the second the wi-fi disconnects it's like well it's the year 1400 that's why people like might have board games i need to get a little board game collection yeah board For, games are fun sometimes yeah hurricane season board games that would go hard yeah but uh, I don't have enough people at my house to g- generally play some of those games. You teach your dogs. <laughs> Monopoly. Uh, Monopoly is an all timer. I remember I used to uh, mouse trap. I'd play that with my cousins. I've never. I don't even know how to. play. That's the game where you beg your mom to play it, and then you spend forty eight minutes setting it up, and then it's time to go to bed, and you never find out how it works. <laughs> I would so believe that for some reason that Stephen Paddock got rich off making mouse trap. <laughs> like it took someone that insane yeah. to make a board. It's like, why even make it a board game was so. What was it? Was it like a Rube Goldberg machine? Yeah, exactly. And it was like, there was only one. It wasn't like a custom where it's a different experience every time. It was like the same. It was yeah. just build the machine and nobody played Let's it by see the it. rules. Watch a video of somebody doing it. Mousetrap. Um, That's not a game. <laughs> All right. Rube Goldberg, the game. They got the commercial too. Remember we know. tried to make Rube Goldberg machines in Halo 3 Forge? Mousetrap. Oh, yeah. Um, that was that's some quite. elite tier tism. The object of Shout the game to is to be Bungie. the first player to collect six cheese slicers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> mousetrap contraption, check He's out getting right video. to the point. I like it. Give each player one slice of cheese. The, really? Place a piece of fucking cardboard? Yeah. Oh, it's Start a little... Space. It has some thickness to it. The first they should have made it plastic. The board think. collects these two bonus cheese pieces. Put the remaining pieces of cheese next to the board. There's, I gotta be honest, this Each doesn't seem like a real world <laughs> and places it on start. It's a two minute Pick video, so it should first, get right to then it. Play proceeds clockwise. On your turn, roll the die and move your token exactly that many spaces clockwise around the board. Okay, he got a piece of cheese. cheese yeah. Launch the trap space. I oh, got trap. One player and move their token to the trap space. Wow. Then Pull back on the stop sign and release. Oh, that was if sick. If the player gets okay, caught in the trap, ooh, then they hard. give you one of their cheeses. If the trap like fails that. for any reason, they don't give you any cheese. I like the different Damn, colors. Why didn't I ever actually play? On the trap space, oh, yeah, I had no friends. send another mouse there. Yeah, you need some and friends for this. if the trap succeeds, you get cheese from And this all is also one of those uh, classic games where if you have one too young a person it'll just ruin the whole yeah, experience yeah. Like, no I want to do it <laughs> it's done yeah you just it's fucked up the, the whole stopped. 20 hour setup Reset they the don't trap. appreciate I gotta be the honest ball, the 20 hour setup seems kick. like more of a three and a half minute setup now that I watch it when I'm older yeah for some reason I thought um, that you part of the game was building it and that's completely not true you build the entire thing that's how long it took it's, it's like this has to be part of it right <laughs> yeah uh but I want to see a mousetrap commercial because I want to see how they advertise this to uh, a to fucking electric guitar. <laughs> what are we doing, boys? We're going in for the big cheese, but it's every mouse for himself. So this is fucking anti Italian. <laughs> yeah. The, the so Italophobes. Hard, this is hardworking Italians are looking bad. Build a contraption. And the gameplay never unfolds like that. That was like action packed. <laughs> yeah, that was the cherry picked one second highlight from. Uh, that was all of the possible action from the whole game. <laughs> yeah, they covered Start every the possible scenario you yeah. could ever experience. Two kids, you'll never have two people excited 
at the same time in Mousetrap. We could talk about some like kids toys and commercials. Remember sock em boppers? It was like, beat the fuck out of your little cousin. Sock em boppers. Sock em boppers. Is More fun than a pillow fight. Yeah. Sock em boppers commercial. Boppers. Your little yeah. brother has. <laughs> oh my God. Oh they're my being God. his ass. They're jumping. This is such a low effort commercial. Sock em boppers. More fun than a pillow fight. Wow. So simple back then. Yeah. Uh, uh, what, are, what are some other good... I, I remember the icebreaker board game. Or, uh, don't break the ice? Yeah, don't break the ice, right? Yeah, that one goes hard. So that's the one where you have to sit there and hammer away at the ice and it falls out. Yeah, you're like these little Eskimos on a... I remember I had a... Um, cookie... Don't break the ice pants and don't spill the beans. What? Oh, yeah. It was like a combo. Don't spill the beans. Remember the fun of Cootie? That guy's dead now, by the way. <laughs> Statistically, it's almost certainly he's dead. <laughs> that guy died at the Capitol riots. Don't forget, don't break the ice. I'm on thin ice. You are, bro. Wait till fucking <laughs> January 6th. He's getting flashbacks. Look at the fucking art for Don't Break the Ice. That's like abstract as hell. Yeah. What That's is the a- other one? Coochie? Cootie? <laughs> Coochie. <laughs> Fancy pants? Grandpa, oh, let's ants play in my pants. Coochie. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hasbro Australia. This is their commercials. This is like a a modern. This is oh wow! In the Australian version, it's an Aborigine guy on the ice, <laughs> and then there's a van to deport him that it comes with. <laughs> deport him to where? That's where <laughs> I they don't live. even know. Just get, fucking be gone. I don't think they had a funny commercial for this. No, they not a lot. Of, I remember I collected. Um, Bob's gonna look this shit up and not find it. Don't break the ice. I remember I used to have these uh, board game keychains. They were like miniature board games in keychain form. And I thought that that was like the best way. Yeah, it would have been like, oh, a mousetrap keychain. Anyone over the age of eight can't even read the fucking font. Yeah, they're like unusable. And you lose Mousetrap? <laughs> the most intricate one, but a pocket one by one version of it. It's you have to impressive. play with tweezers. Oh, he's got the audio from the commercial. It works. Then again, that is a pretty simple mechanism. Yeah. But I had the one for don't. You must not build it in that one. It must just be like assembled. They have monopoly. Dude, I, ha- I can. <laughs> what is this for? If you're trying to smuggle it to your friend in jail, like that's literally the only scenario where I would want this. Yeah, he he has a whole collection. I had a few of these. It was just like for um, because this is so a novelty. Yeah, it's like the same thing that uh, I see this toy nowadays that's called, uh, they're like mini brands. They also have, it's like a whole thing and brands was a spinoff. Cereal? They're for literal children, but they're these toys that they're miniature products. Do you, do you know, have you heard about these? No, but I love that kind of stuff that's the wrong size. I would love that as a kid. I would have literally. I had a hat rack that was a giant pencil and that went so fucking hard. Mini brands. Look, this is total fucking baby YouTube section. But watching unboxings of mini what brands. What is that? It's like they come in these little, uh, see, like a mini pack of peeps. And they have like. Where do I get these? I need a hundred of them. At like Walmart and toy stores. Oh my God, a tiny Teddy Grahams. Does it have yeah. actual food in it? Some of them, um, like the early ones do, but they've improved them over time. Go on Amazon. To where order fifty. There's a there's like a KitchenAid mixer, and you could open it up, and there's the mixer in the styrofoam, <laughs> with the instructions and everything. Yeah. So it's definitely like almost like a, a loot box system where you don't know what you're gonna get. Oh my god! I got a miniature Galaxy gas. Look, cheese it's and there's nothing in there, but sometimes there will be. But she's just letting you know so you don't get ripped off. I wouldn't really care about like the food products though. Mini Galaxy Gas would go hard. If they had like something that was more tailored to my niche interests. Like if they had uh... all those box services. Sorry if we ever fuck up a sponsor by saying this, but all those boxes are so stupid. The ones where it's like bespoke box. We'll send you a leather bracelet and a bunch of 
fucking rusted nails in a box to yeah. you for like twenty five ninety nine a month. Like ra- we'll give you a bunch of random garbage that you could have got at like a promotional stand for a credit card company. It's just like when I was at the, I was at the gas station on my way here, and they're like, "You want anything from the buy one get one free table?" And I look over, and it's a hundred percent just shit you've had that's going bad in a in a week that you've had for five years. Where like, is this? Seven Eleven. Oh yeah. Well yeah, like the bananas too. They'll have like the day old bananas. You get a good deal on that. Yeah, I don't get fruit at the. 7-Eleven, but everything's a fucking rip off at the gas station. Look at you got Pringles. I want to see some uh some real Yeah, this is some uh We got to get a strong clothes and then get out of here. So I had a couple things I realized. Did I say this last week how crossing guards become like very popular in the community for some reason? No. Like I'll see Cuz all uh, the local kids know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's great when he does it, but when I do it, and it also not if I did it, at least I would be a creep. But if I was a crossing guard, they I guarantee you, if I was a crossing guard, <laughs> because you have a reason to be there, <laughs> that's the difference. <laughs> it's just a guy just like sl- was slowing his car down, talking to school kids. I kind of fucked up my introduction into this topic, but I. It sounds like you recently <laughs> got a charge. <laughs> no, yeah, obviously, joke aside. Uh, I don't want to talk to kids, but um, if I was a if uh I was a crossing card, <laughs> we shake your head. Uh, got me off my tracks. This is a tricky thing to get through. I don't want to be a crossing guard, okay? But if I did want to be, I guarantee I wouldn't be as popular as these guys who are just old guys standing on the side of the street. And every time I see them waving at every car, like their best friends, like. Like, I get it, but it's like a kind of a fake respect, right? It's like nobody respects the crossing guard. If I was their first responders, (laughs) their first responders when the light changes to (laughs) stay over a thousand crossing guards died in 9 11, so I wouldn't disrespect them like that. I don't know about you, also, but I never, and I know there's millions of kids that do, but I've never uh, had to walk. Like, I've never needed a crossing guard in my childhood life. It's either just They bus. have them right by the school. It's, like, the only area they have them. It's, like, within, like, a mile of the school. So if you're lucky enough to live <laughs> five minutes away, to, you can walk home from school. It's, like... <laughs> is that... It's also unlucky. That you're is a lucky. little kid and has to walk home. Yeah, you little know... Little kids kid, walking home is crazy. Sometimes I'll be driving down the street and it's like a little-ass kid alone with his backpack. It's like, holy shit, people are still doing that? Like, I'd be worried my dumb-ass kid would get hit by a car. Uh, yeah. Especially because, like, they're smaller. Like, yeah. so you're not looking and they don't know. Like, I saw... A, it wasn't even a kid. It was like an adult, but it was a young woman. She was driving a scooter in the bike lane and she was straight up swerving into the road. And she's, like, young, so I don't think she realizes how fucking crazy that is. <laughs> but it's like, I never even see people doing that. And then it's like, she probably just thought it was like, oh, I gotta move. There was... I'll be honest, there were some leaves in the road because of the hurricane, but... I gotta get a dash cam because I see crazy shit all the time. Like, uh, every two days, I n- witness a inch away f- c- from car accident thing. Just people do the most insane shit around here. Yeah, I, uh, I used to have a dash cam, but it really never came in handy for anything. But, yeah, you wish you would have it if something ever were to happen that you'd wish were on recording. Yeah, I'm going to be singing Linkin Park in my car, and then fucking a guy's going to try to do insurance fraud, and I'm going to have to have get embarrassed in court. It's, me singing. it's not like I want them to be included, but why are they not just included in cars with like 30 gigabytes like and it just reformats itself every time? Like so you could just like why they're like 200 bucks. Cheapest cars are like two, 20 or grand. Or at least this have a better like system to connect them. Like have it like ready for like it it's, it has the wires hooked up so it's like in the right spot and you like pull a hatch open and you can connect to it. Yeah, why in 2024 do we not have like a cigarette port on the roof? Like w- so many people are mounting things to their windshield and then you got to have a power cord hanging down. Like nobody ever has a power cord that just plugs up. That would make so much sense. Or like plug it right into the mirror. I my new car it's weird like the mirror the when it like the middle mirror on the w- windshield it connects 
like uh, on my other cars it just you it was simple you see how it connects to the windshield on this one it literally looks like it connects to an xbox 360 it's like this huge thing that i don't know what it's for on star oh, yeah. but my on star box is like the size of a fucking ps3 oh, shit. it's like what is in that thing <laughs> you got the most maybe it's because it's a lease it has like extreme tracking in it so that if it, you stop paying, they could come get it. It looks normal for the car. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's where the ants came from. I had some ants, guys. Don't get Chevy because they get ants. It's true. You've had how many Chevys? I've had only sh- about three. And how many of them had ants? Two. <laughs> so the only one that didn't have ants was because uh, it was a dry season that year and the ants yeah. weren't. But yeah, they just walk right in. The seals are not... They're literally like revolving doors for these sugar ants to come right in. Yeah. And, uh, but yeah, I'm like, luckily as a pest control professional, I, uh, got shout out to, uh, um, max force quantum ant bait. Yeah. So it, your personal favorite ant poison. My personal favorite ant poison. Super duper effective. He's tried them all guys. <laughs> I have actually tried them all. And when you have ants, especially these sugar ants, the, the stores they sell bullshit. And you know what else is bullshit? The bait containers, like the bait stations. The ants, they don't go in those little plastic. They don't go up the bait. You yeah, got to put yeah. the bait on your fucking counter. So rip that off and then scoop the bait onto the shit where the fucking ants don't block their path, but put it next to it. Yeah. They're like, they're getting so elaborate. You buy like a diorama house for your ants, like a little model house to put down with gel bait all in it. Yeah, I get you don't want to put poison on your stuff, but uh, <laughs> poison, <laughs> like it's not literally just poison, <laughs> but uh, yeah. yeah, shout out. My girlfriend says I poisoned her, <laughs> it was ant gel, okay? <laughs> What's well, not poison? I just but I saw an ant on the toothbrush, so I put bait on it. <laughs> And I forgot to tell her. <laughs> oh, man. 